One of the great things about shooting the show in the Bay Area is that we have such a wonderful array of places to run our experiments at. This one in particular is going to be perfect for us to run an experiment that involves shrimp, guns, air cannons, and fireballs. The engineering challenge they're facing to even test this viral video is as tough as it gets. A ballistic ballet of perfectly choreographed explosive ingredients. We have watched this video dozens of times and looked at every single shot of the rig. Oh, beauty. And we have measured as best we can the distances between each of the stations and replicated exactly the journey of the shrimp from gun to plate. I love color. With the system laid out according to the video reference, Jamie hooks up the power source. Given that this whole thing is driven by air, we don't want it. Oh. <laughs> we don't want any leaks. While Jamie springs into action, unspringing any leaks. Leak number three. Adam attempts to avoid product placement. In the video, the target seems to be a pillow of bubble. So, am I allowed to say bubble? The world. <laughs> In the video, the target seems to be a pillow of this bubble packaging stuff. You know what it's called. I'm going to make a pillow of the same stuff. With their trademark target taped into place. Time for shooting. And the firing squad peeled and prepped. They're all set to test the first cog in their multi-part machine, the shrimp cannon. After all of our prep work, what remains to be done is to fire shrimp from this gun and see, well, just how accurately it fires. Oh, look at those. <laughs> this whole machine depends upon this shrimp firing accurately. The shrimp gun is locked and loaded. I, for one, think that there may be a little adjustment after the first time we fire it. Here we go. In three, two, one. shrimp up my nose. What happened? The first test, well, <clears throat> my face got covered with shrimp guts. <laughs> and that's the best I can say about that test. It was pretty much a total failure. But we're going to hold down the shrimp cartridge so it doesn't jump like it did last time. OK, so I'm going to hold on to that and see if we can't get the shrimps to hit the target. Shrimp cannon test fire number two. That's the first task. Then the second one is to make sure they hit it consistently. In three, two, one. <laughs> we, we might have a problem on our hands. Shrimp nil. <laughs> nice. One. Shrimp nil. Let's go collect the shrimp nil. Well, right out of the gate, it's not looking too good for this story because we didn't even get to the target, and our shrimp basically disintegrated. Ooh, I grabbed it by its eyeball. Oh, there's there little bits everywhere. And we can't just add more pressure. It's just going to disintegrate them more. And that means that we've got to do something to doctor this a little bit. And what it would take is what is known as a sabo, which is behind the shrimp and takes the brunt of the force of the air blast, pushing the shrimp out of the cannon without destroying them. Things we turn out to get good at that will never be useful again. <laughs> <laughs> and then that sabo or wadding falls away before it reaches the target. Test number three. Three, two, one. That was a little better. That was a lot better. All three of them hit the back target and, if I'm not incorrect, at the same time. The Zabo was successful. The shrimp stayed intact. And with a small adjustment to the aim. Ah, oh, that was perfect. That was perfect. I was going to say almost perfect, but that was perfect. The guys seem happy. Spank right into the pillow. Couldn't be better. That success means they can go again, this time to measure the flight time. For the record, the last one took 392 milliseconds to reach from the end of the barrel to the target. And with that, they're ready to coordinate the launch of the shrimp with each ingredient and the final fiery piece of the puzzle. Nice!
Nice! <laughs> It's the coolest toy ever. <laughs>